Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Greetings, everybody. I'm going to be doing another science podcast. This will be about a telescope and have we spotted dark matter. So basically with these podcasts, I find an article that, you know, catches my attention and interests me. I read it through here and there. I give my input on how mind blowing it is or its potential for uh, you know, wonder and study and even, you know, medical breakthroughs at times. This article is called Gamma Ray Space Telescope Study May Have Spotted Dark Matter. It's by Paul Ratner. A new study of gamma rays and gravitational lensing points to the possible presence of dark matter. And these are the points. I guess it would be topic points. Or analyzing data from the Fermi Gamma Space Gamma Ray Space Telescope, researchers find hints of dark matter. The scientists look to spot a correlation between gravitational lensing and gamma rays. Future release of data can pinpoint whether the dark matter is really re responsible for observed effects. Uh, this has been an age-old uh, theory they're trying to prove or get more evidence for is dark matter. So right away it gets my attention. Let's start here. By comparing data derived from gravitational lensing and gamma ray observations by the Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope, a study showed that a certain regions of the sky emit more gamma rays. While the main cause of this phenomenon may be supermassive black holes, the researchers think that some of the emissions may be cause of dark matter. It is a so far undetectable substance that supposedly takes up as much as 27% of all matter in the universe, with dark energy taking up another 68%. And then parentheses, as per NASA, there's a link. Links are always good. I'm not checking them for that. The study builds on nine years of gamma ray data from the Large Area Telescope that's part of the Fermi Space Observatory and was carried out by Simone Amazaloso <laughs> at the University of Turin in Italy, Daniel Gruen at Stanford University in California, and colleagues. The data from the telescope previously pinpointed many individual gamma ray sources, like the remains of supernova explosions or jets of ionized matter called blazars, created an accretion of material by supermassive black holes. So there's a link to what blazars are, and they're created from accretion of material by a supermassive black hole. We're gonna learn what blazars in the go. I kind of know there's a video on this link I watched that it tells you the difference. I'll continue. While many sources were located, some of the radiation that was detected by the LAT could not be traced. To investigate this, Amazal also <laughs> and the team of researchers compared gamma ray background data with the first year data from the Dark Energy Survey, carried out by the Dark Energy Camera on the Victor Blanco 4M telescope in Chile, which took optical snapshots of 40 million galaxies. Wow, there's, a, there's links to this stuff. The survey, the, the telescope, it's, it's really interesting. The research team was trying to figure out if there's a correlation between the location of gravitational lenses and gamma ray photons. Gravitational lensing measures the distribution of the universe's matter by utilizing an effect predicted by Einstein. The effect takes place when light traveling to Earth from a distant object is distorted by the gravitational pull of the matter on the way. Uh, 
It's like I said, solar videos. Comparing two sets of data, the scientists realized that regions of the sky with more matter were also responsible for emitting more gamma rays. On the flip side, the regions that were less dense produced fewer gamma rays. Specifically, the researchers observed this relationship holding at high energies and small angular scales, as reports Physics World. There's a link for that. Blazers, blazars, I guess, so, <laughs> were likely to cause these kinds of gamma ray emissions, according to the physicist. The scientists spotted a weaker version of this kind of emission at larger angular scales. This other source of the gamma rays was likely dark matter, thinks Francesca Color, an astroparticle physicist at Annecy Le Vieux Theoretical Physics Lab in France, who wrote a commentary for the new paper. Quotes. This result is exciting as it marks one of the few hints at the existence of dark matter via indirect, detec indirect detection methods, and it opens up new possibilities for probing dark matter particle models, says Kalor. She warned that there is still a chance the notice correlation could be due to blazars, which are still not completely understood. Oh, so there goes me learning about blazars. <laughs> New data that will be released from the Dark Energy Survey, including 100 million galaxies, as well as other upcoming sky research, like the Legacy Survey of Space and Time at the Vera Rubin Observatory in Chile, should shed more light on the matter. Quotes. With deeper redshift coverage and a better angular resolution, future instruments will be... Will, Future instruments will enable scientists to better understand their sources behind the universe's gamma ray glow and potentially uncover the nature of dark matter, Kalor stated. And there's a link to the actual study in physical review letters. I've always been curious and always wondered if the, in my lifetime they would detect this dark matter and putting quotes up. This is like a big thing in science. We have these theories and, you know, we work our science around these theories that we um, give a lot of credence to and perform observational studies on. And when these things happen, for me, it gets me excited because, like, this could be something that, you know, it takes another two years to get into more. I don't know how, I'm not a scientist or an academic, but... All the data that will come in, I mean, the numbers they're talking about, the millions of galaxies that they're taking pictures of and getting better angles and how the science works with the life traveling to Earth, it, it just blows my mind. It fascinates me. This gives me hope that uh, there could be something coming up soon that'll, you know, but if it's so hard, it'll be one of those things like, that adds another bit of evidence to a theory. But if they ever figured this out and this was so important that it could get closer to proving the theory, although science doesn't prove anything, so to speak, gathering up enough evidence and we continue our research in that direction. So follow where the evidence goes, I say. And this looks like a interesting path and I can't wait to see more on this. These are things I like to jot down and look into and find special um, videos and lectures on. But sometimes there are sites that uh, aggregate this type of information that aren't that well good. So I'll put the link for this in the descriptions to the article. But although I think it's from Big Think, Big Think has a couple of questionable things at times, but like most social media, you're going to get legitimate stories that they aggravate, that they pull together that are good. And this one seems to be one. But you can verify it for yourself. In any case, science still blows my mind. These things geek me out. I get real excited. I spend a lot of time looking into these things and just going down the rabbit holes. And like I said, sometimes I'll find even lectures and things like that. I wish more people would get into science and 
that's why I'm started my playlist section, the sciences. This will be, I don't know. I'm recording some of these in intervals, but I'm not putting them up right away. So I'm not sure in what order they'll be put up. I hope everybody enjoys it. Good luck to everybody. I'll see you all next time.